hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been we are going to continue on our volume computation series was it actually a series maybe it was so we are going to continue on that series we are going to use them um, autocad civil 3d right good to do surface comparison you know by comparing two surfaces and then trying to determine the volume between those two surfaces a very good and um, practical example is um, maybe when you have a dump um, yeah an earth material that was um, it holds to a particular site and then you want to know the volume of that um, material whatever material it will be maybe not just a material maybe anything that can be measured or maybe in volume right good so we are going to show you how you can actually use your um, autocad civil 3d to carry out that kind of um, um, exercise so thanks for coming to class if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can encourage us by subscribing and if you are returning you are thanks for always them um, checking up on us so we have our data now most times when you're working with data like this or when you want to carry out the tax like this you need them um, at least two sets of data right good the data for the lower surface and the data for the upper surface right good so you can call it pre and post you can call it them um, top and then um, bottom you can call it them um, existing is it existing ground and maybe filling or something there can be different um, names for it but the ideal is that or let's see what you are supposed to pay attention to is that you need more than one surface and the other surface will be that of the material that was dumped right but so we have that this is the topography of the terrain the data for the topography of the terrain before ever there was a dump or maybe there was a dump. Again, it's not um, only about dumps. I think I also need to say this. Sometimes there might be excavation, right? Good. So you want to know the volume that was excavated, right? Good. You want to know the volume that was ex excavated so you can be sure of, um, you know, coming up with another volume, maybe another quantity of that same volume to maybe fill it up or something. So the application can come in different area either to cut or to fill right good so when you know the, the topography of the pre and you also know the topography of the post then you can now compare those two surfaces to determine your volume so we have our data for the pre and then this is our data for the post right this is our data for the post now for us to be able to move it to autocad we need to copy to our notepad right so we copied it to notepad good so we actually copied the pre and the post to notepad and we did um, a little bit of um, adjusting you know when we moved it to um, when we moved it to notepad we add something like um, a space right good so control h we had to copy the space which you can see here and we replaced all the spaces with comma right good there are different formats that um, AutoCAD um, recognizes. However, on this video, we used this particular format, which you can also decide to use. So when you when you copy from the Excel to your notepad, you will see a space like this. So you just copy this space, you use them um, Control H, you paste it, and then you replace it with what? You replace it with comma. So when you place it with comma, you are going to have your data formatted in form of what? Eastern comma northern comma height right good so we did that for the pre and we also did that for the post right good so upon doing all of those we can now come back to what uh 3d and start the main tax so the first thing is that we need to import the point so we are using the the shortcut um, import point right so you just type import points or maybe type imports and a um, motor card auto fills for you we just select import points good now we have the import points um, window or dialog box as we said earlier autocad accepts different formats depending on how you've saved yours 
so you click on what this plus that indicates add files right good so you click on it right it will take you to your pc anywhere you would have saved it you just navigate to that um, location and you try to access it so let's um, open pre-access right good so we just we click on it and we say open or you can double click now if the form the points you are adding is not um, accepted you are going to see maybe it's not supported or something maybe the arrangement is not okay you are going to see a notification here that it's instead of a good yeah instead of a good you are going to see something like bad good so instead of this good icon you are going to see bad icon right good so this shows that the file size sorry the file type was recognized and as you can see it's almost same as what we saw on what on excel right so we have our eastern northern and the point elevation and the type is what um, command delimited so we are going to create a point group we are going to create a point group since we don't have any point group we are going to need it since the drop down does not have any point group. so we just click on this word to create a point group right so let's call this the pre remember we need it so much so let's call it the pre we have created a point group we just click on ok then we say what ok good so the point has been added so you just want to extend to where you can display those points that's um, z enter e enter right good so here are the points we need to do some modifications to remove some of these um, redundant data we don't need some of them and also to work on the markers right so we come to the point group we have that of pre right so you right click and then you go to properties so under the properties you can now select and then adjust what you want to do so for the point label we only need um, do we need okay we only need the elevation then for the let's see the font so you click on that um, is it pencil sign or pencil icon good so the text height instead of um, 2.5 let's make it 1.5 let's let's just make it 1.0 1.0 is fair enough then we don't want to make any other modification yeah we just want it to be um not too big not too loud so we apply that we say okay then for the point style we also come to where we can edit it which is that um, pencil icon then we also reduce it to let's say 1.5 right good so 1.5 is okay then we still need this particular marker style so we click on them um, apply okay, 1.5 might still be too big let's make it one at once so we just click on them, apply and we say okay since we are done with all of those we apply and then we also say okay good so this is fair enough the next thing we are going to do is for us to what um, create a surface for this um, particular um, point group that we have what we have um, imported so you come to surface you right click on it and then you select what create surface right good now we are actually creating a thin surface um, is it a triangulated and um, irregular network right good so we are creating a thin surface and then let's give it a name let's call it um, um, let's call it um, okay this should be for pre this should be for pre good then the description you can just give it in the description if you want to then the style we most times leave it at um, console to mm and the rest of that so you just click on what okay good our surface has been created we can see pre here, right good so now let's define the surface by adding the point group that we created earlier so you come to what you go to surface you you can see the drop down that's a plus you click on the plus you will see definition right good your pre which you've actually created you now see definition you come down to what you come down to point groups you right click and then you now see what add you click on add right good now when you click on add remember the point group you created when you were importing those points right good so that's for the pre you apply and then you click on what okay good the surface has been created you can actually make some modifications if you want to but um, on this video we are not going to bother so much about the 
um, the aesthetics or any other stuff we are just going to proceed so now we've actually created the surface for what for the print now we are going to run through the surface for the post first thing now is that we are going to import the point Now remember there is what an existing point group but we are not going to add it to it we are going to create another one for what for post right good you can see the point has been added but the text and the other stuff are not still okay so we are still going to make some what we are still going to make some modifications there so you come down to post you go to properties right These are still check check. Okay. Good. Still check. Apply. Okay. Okay. Good. So this this is fair enough, right? Good. So we come down to create a surface for the post, right? So you right click and you click on create surface. Then this is for this is for post right good then we click on ok then post definition come to point group you add and we have posts we apply and we say ok good so we've actually created the um, surface for both the um, existing ground and maybe the excavated or the dumped ground right good so I've actually try to explain it can either be a cut or a field whatever the case is right so we have our two surfaces now this is not the final like um, in terms of creating the surface you can still you know right click on any of the surface and you know we do some modifications however we don't want to do so much of those on this particular video we just want to go straight to how we can um, do it how we can get to our volume computation by comparing these um, two surfaces right good so we now have the post and the pre surface the next thing is for us to come to what is for us to come to analyze and then click on what the volumes dashboard right good now we are trying to create or let's say yeah compute so we just want to create a new volume surface just like created for the pre and the post now remember when we are creating for the pre and the post it was not really what volume surface right good so you now see the difference between the both then the, the information the surface name let's just call this um let's call it volume right good then this is where you define your surfaces those surfaces that you've created earlier now our base surface is actually what our pre right good so you you click on this um, ellipse when you select any of those and then you select your base surface just click on this and then you click on this browse right to now select what the other surface is and then the comparison surface is what our post right good so we have our skill factor and uh, sorry the cost factor and the fuel factor set at one one each right good so we have what the pre and the post which are the base and the comparison surfaces respectively right so we just click on ok good so you can now see what um, the volume for this is what the square area we have a um, 510 then this is for the cut which is um point this is a um, point one cubic meters right good and then for the fill we have a um, 1550 cubic um, yeah cubic meters right good and then for the net which is like um, the the difference right good the difference between these two we have what 1550 so this is now what the volume right good the net adjusted right so we have the net adjusted which is a um, 1550.79 so this is how you compare two surfaces and then you determine the volume between them and um, we can actually insert this um, our report on on our drawing or maybe somewhere close to our drawing so let's say we want to 
insert it somewhere there good so let's see if how that goes good so we have what the the cut and fill summary what inserted now you can still do so much about them making these uh, these fonts beautiful i do not really like how they are so let's see if i can still run through the reduction of those sizes so we just uh, remember how we did it the other time you come down to this point let's change this to 0.5 i would rather use them 0.5 than this one now because one looks so large to me now so let's use 0.5 okay then for the, the labels i'll also use them 0.5 for the text height right i'll use 0.5 for the text height as well so let's um, apply this and let's say okay let's apply and then okay so um i think we have been able to show you how um, you can compare two surfaces and then um, determine the volume between them by knowing the what the cut and fill um, volume which you are now going to get your net volume to know if that particular dump is going to be cut or is going to be filled. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we've provided solution to this particular surveying or maybe engineering or geological problem. We are going to see you on the next video. Until then, keep staying safe and keep being good at what you're doing. Have a very good time. Bye.